So I'm Sue and this is Pam and then we've got our model Anne today and we're going to demonstrate how to put on a hanging cast. So a hanging cast will be put on for a proximal fracture to the humerus which is displaced and the weight of the cast is going to allow for proper alignment of the humerus fracture and uh, then also disimpact disimpaction of the fracture. Okay so I'll get to go ahead and demonstrate for you. Okay so Pam's just going to measure the size of the cast here and I need to hold the arm in position with the arm at uh, 90 degrees at the elbow. Okay, mid so going mid to go, shaft. Yeah, mid shaft humerus uh, to mid shaft radius is where Pam's taking her measurements from. So Pam is just preparing the back slab which is a 20 centimetre bandage and it is five layers thick. She's also taking a um, wedge of plaster which is going to be used as a slab on the bottom of the cast which allows the weight to develop which will then allow for the humerus uh, to relax down and that will um, cause proper alignment of the bone and also disimpact the fracture. It will be folded. And it will be folded like that. The first one is going to apply some padding. That again is going to be just above mid humerus this time because we need to allow for a turn back. Just going to work away around the elbow and then down just below the mid radius. So again, she'll have a turn back at the bottom. Okay, let's just relax your arm know, down. Lovely. in the back slab now, around the elbow, just making sure the inside the elbow that it's nice and smooth so it doesn't rub at all and dig into the patient. Just going to put a, a wedge of plaster underneath there which just provides some extra weight. Just turning back the edges now, and she's going to apply a pre shrunk bandage just to hold the plaster in place. She's going to be tied off. Is that comfortable? Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Okay, let's finish off, I'm just going to apply a collar and cuff, which will be secured at the wrist. Okay, and that is it. So that column cuff then is going to hold the arm in place and the weight there will provide some traction to allow the humerus uh, to, as I say, disimpact and to maintain proper alignment of it. That's it, thank you.